Right, so where do we leave off? Let's get the ship up then. I am can have a conviction to try and, well, basically get this bugger off the ground in a stable manner. And I just had a sort of brainwave of how to do it. So what the hell did I call it? The dodo, that was it. Dodo. Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> now, I think if I attach vertical thrusters, we could get this bad boy off the ground. Let's just see how that goes. Uh, this is a modded uh, instrument. It's basically a solid burner, but on steroids. So this will get me off the ground without a shadow of doubt. But what I'm not too sure is if it's a stable way of doing it. So with these fuckers, you have to sort of connect them a lot because they will rip your ship to pieces. So let's just get a few connectors on. So let's get two here. And two here. So the idea is I fire these, release these, and then f detach them. Then I fly off into the sunset. Right. To infinity and beyond. As Buzz Lightyear would say. Okay. It didn't fall apart instantly, which is a good start. I'm not sure if this will go first time, but let's see. That just didn't go well, did it? Um, link between the wings and the fuel tank. So the wings ripped off, basically. So a, a common fix to any problem in this game are metal rods, basically. Connect everything to everything ten times and nothing can go wrong. The wings ripped off. That actually makes sense. It looks pretty flimsy, if I'm honest. So let's um, put some metal bars in. Let's make sure no, there's no no reason whatsoever that this can fail. Oh my god. So here we are, attempt number two. Let's hopefully this one goes a tiny bit better. <laughs> oh shit! Slow motion, that's all flipped in some way. I want to restart that flight and just see what actually happened. Oh, I'm not dead. Hey. Still alive. Needs more stability. So that's why I'm going to get rid of these super boosters and just put normal burners on instead. I think that will be the best, best move to do. These are too powerful for me. Can't handle it. Let's right, see how this one goes. I just want to get off the ground basically. And once I can disengage these and then we're, then we're smoking chili dogs all day long. There needs to be someone in the back. I have just realised. Just for stability reasons, really. What's going to happen here is if I try and attach one of these, it's going to spaz out. Yeah, it's going to face downwards. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Right, so I've got rid of all of that crap because I'm a, I'm a progressive sort of guy. If something doesn't work, get rid of it. So let's let's figure out something else differently then. So. Someone left in the comments saying that I didn't have any wings, and that sort of stuck with me. So let's get some wings in. And then I've got some uplift, I can put some more thrusters on, and everybody's happy. And we'll tie it all off with one of these. Right, now that's attached, I need up thrust. So let's get some Conrads going. Conards, sorry. Well, that could be a problem. It won't line up. Well, let's just see how that turns out anyway. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hopefully they don't snap off instantly. It's pretty robust. Here we go. Pull up. Oh God. I think I can fix that quite easily just by um, adding some twisty turners, whatever the fucking got rudders, I think, and just allowing myself to turn basically.
This should help at least. They work. Good, I can turn now. I wonder how fast I need to be going for this fucker to take off. Take off! Oh! I don't have enough speed! Run out of fuel! Oh! I'm in the air! I did it! I built a plane. I could take off the ground stably. Cross thing touch wood. Let's see how high I can get anyway. I'm losing a lot of speed that I could probably stall if I'm not careful. Oh, I just stalled. Not again. Oh no. F fucking recover. And you've got to give the spaceship everything's holding. No, holding together. <laughs> oh, mayday. So, what I've derived, I need basically more power. That's fantastic, it works. Just more more fuel and more power is all I need now. So, I've got the fuel, now I just need the, um, the power. <laughs> Not so much power, but uplift. So let's cover this shit in stuff. Let's let it be known that I would always have up thrust. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to put some metal bars in the bottom here, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Oh, it's tipping. Don't touch the ground. No. Take off. Lost some weight. Let's take off. Got a nice little cliff here. No. Nope. I'm just going to go into the water. So, what I need are more thrusters. Now, that's not particularly hard to do. And let's be crude about it. And just put that there. Oh, let me just save it. Just in case something goes wrong, I don't want to lose this. I've got the power. I've got the rigidity. I fucking must have the uplift. <sighs> right. Didn't she look beautiful? <laughs> the metal bars seem to be working. Slightly. I think you can see the stress there. Right. Fingers crossed. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it worked. Oh shit. Come on. Keep going. Let's get, come on. Stay forward. Stay rigid. Stay rigid. Oh. Alright, prepare for emergency landing. All hands on deck. If I land this, I am a god. 
Come on, glide. Just fucking glide. Glide! Ah! I guess that concludes this episode of Kerbal Space Program's thing. So, I'll save it and hopefully figure out how to make this better in the future. But I think I've gone, I've definitely advanced from last week. Because I've just, I've got more stuff basically, so it can't have been any worse. God, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.